again, it is I, Derek from Tomcat Gas Training, and welcome to this video all about these things. But before we get into this video, please could you take some time to subscribe, because it helps the channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell, because you want YouTube to tell you when we're uploading videos. Again, I've got no clue at the moment. Don't forget to give me this thumbs up, and don't forget to put a constructive comment down below. Anyway, as usual, let's stop waffling and messing around and let's get on with finding out exactly what we use these for. So, what are these things then? Well, these are bending springs which will help us to bend copper tube. Now, when I was an apprentice way back in 1983, we used these all the time because bending machines weren't really commonplace. And then when I started teaching in 1999, we were still using these. But they're a far better quality than these are now. Anyway, so in this video, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you how to bend copper tube using these bending springs the correct way. So, shall we get on with it then? Now, first thing we need to do with our brand new bending spring Let's get some lubricant on it, some silicon spray. So, just give the spring a bit of a spray. So why are we spraying it with silicone? Because we want it to slide in and out of the pipe easily. So the first thing to do is keep it well lubricated. And if it goes rusty, get rid of it, because it'll just stick in your pipe. So. That's the first thing. Now, next thing. If you cut your pipe with pipe cutters, the spring won't go in. Just get stuck because it's chamfered. So what you have to do is, you have to cut it with a hacksaw. So it slides in and out easily. So, also a good idea is to Deburr the end as well once you've cut it with an axe. So you can either use a deburring tool or you could just file it. But you won't get the spring in unless you've cut the pipe using an axe saw and not using pipe cutters. Now the next thing is if I wanted to bend this piece of pipe in the middle, my spring doesn't come out at the end, so how do I get it in and how do I get it out? So, that's an easy bit. What you do is, you get yourself a length of wire. Now this wire has to be strong enough to be able to pull it without snapping, and it's also got to be thin enough to be able to go in and out of your pipe, your 15mm pipe. So I've got some single cable here. I've just bent it in half, and got rid of the outer sheathing. So what I'm doing is, if I slide that into the end of the spring, so that goes into the centre like that, and then I just get these two ends, and then just twist them together, like so. Bend that down, like that. Get some insulation tape, like this, and then just wrap it around the wire for a bit of protection, and so it doesn't come undone. And you've now just made a way of pulling the spring out from the centre of the pipe. So if that goes in the centre of the pipe, that will be sticking out the end and you can pull it out. And you'll see that when we make a bend. So, that's your preparation for your bending spring and your tube. So let's have a go at bending a 90 degree bend the correct way. Now then, how do we get the spring down into the pipe. 
So if I were to measure it in the middle, bend it in the middle, put the centre of the spring into the centre of my mark, like I say, get the wire to the end of the pipe, and then just bend the wire over, and that's going to be where we're going to get it into. So if I slide that down into the pipe, once, the, once it's gone in, I can't push it in, so it's dead easy. All you have to do is either stand it up and knock it onto a piece of wood, like that, and it will work its way down, or you can tap it like that. So, And it will go down to your mark. And if you want to pull it out, it just pulls out with the wire. It's as simple as that. Now then, let's have a look at actually our bend radius. Now, you don't just mark your bend point and start bending. You need to work out your radius for the bend to bend it correctly and to measurements. So, behind me here is how we do it. So the first thing we need to do is get our measured length, 300, 400, whatever we pick. And that is our first mark number one, okay? So that is our first measured length, that's where we want our centre of our pipe. Then, what we need to do is, we need to come back four pipe diameters. So whether it's 15 or whether it's 22, so 60 mil for 15, so 15 times 4 is 60. So we come back 60 mil, that's our second mark, and then we need to go forward two pipe diameters. So 15 times 2 is 30, so we go forward 30. We've now got a section of pipe to do our bend radius to a given measurement. Not just bending it 90 degrees and then cutting off our extra lengths we've got. That's not how you do it. Especially when you're doing an assignment or an assessment in uh, your plumbing quals. So, let's put this into practice. So, I have measured my centre of the pipe measurement, which is number one. So that's 320mm from this end because this is centre of the pipe, so we're just going to bend it here. So I've come back four pipe diameters, so 60mm that way, and I've gone forward two pipe diameters, so I've gone 30mm that way. So that's become our bending point for bending this centre to end measurement of 320. So this is my measured end, so I'm just going to flip that over and slide the spring in. But first I'm just going to check and make sure the spring goes where I want it to be, so the centre of the spring in the centre of my mark, which is about there. So I can now slide that in, and then just tap it down to my mark. Okay. So the first thing, because this is upside down for you, but I'm looking at it now. So the first point I'm going to start my bending is at number two, not at number one. And I'm going to form the bend around this way. So I'm going to use my kneecap to do this. So you end up as a, a plumber or a gas engineer, whatever, with very flat kneecaps with a ridge underneath if you use a spring a lot. So you can see why pipe benders came around. It makes it easier anyway. So my first bend, I'm going to use the bit of my knee there to make a, the first bend point. Now, I'm evenly pulling with both hands, gently. Not, or you'll just ripple it. So you can see the first part of the bend is just a gentle bend. And I'm just going to work my way around the bending point. Just pulling it gently and working it away around. So, so far we've got that. No ripples so far. And it's evenly pulling it with both hands 
around your knee, not yanking it massively. We're nearly getting there now. So you need a set square for doing this as well, to know when you've bent it round. But the first thing we're going to do is, I don't know if you can see that, I've actually overbent it. Because if we don't overbend it, we won't get the spring out. So that's my 90 degree, well it looks like 90 degree. Should we get a set square and find out if it is 90 degree? Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but can you see it's just slightly over? I know it's slightly <laughs> over. Because what we've got to do now is just put it on the floor, gently push away so we can now hopefully pull the spring out incredibly easy and we've got a perfect 90 degree bend bent within our radius marks. So if that was brought to me under assessment conditions I'd have to measure from the end to the centre to see if it is 320 mil, and uh, I would deem that a perfect 90 degree bend. Shall we measure our measured end to see if we're in the centre? So you can see we've set our set square up in the middle of the pipe, like so. We get our tape rule out and we go from the edge of the set square to the edge of the pipe and you can see quite clearly there it is 320 millimeters center to end so i have just produced a perfect 90 degree bend from 320 mil from end to the center of the pipe and you can see there now we have the perfect bend within the radius markings. It's called annealing and I'm going to heat up between these sections here to make the copper softer. So I've got a rag here I'm just going to put it straight over the pipe and cool it instantly. You can see I've re my back so one, two, three after I've cooled it down from annealing this is going to be an even pull so I start right on the end there right on the corner of my knee there and I can start to pull and gradually bend the pipe where it's middling because the spring is stretched massively so I've got these two springs to be here so what I need to do now is Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you bend a perfect 90 degree bend using a bending spring in 15mm tube. So, if you've liked this video, why don't you give it that thumbs up or leave a constructive comment down below. If you've not subscribed to my channel, then please subscribe because it helps. And don't forget to hit that notification bell because we want YouTube to tell you when we're uploading videos because I don't even know at the moment. Anyway, all I've got left to say is, thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Cheers.